Just wanted to show you guys that the chipping sparrows have flown the nest. They're fine. They just grew super fast. And if you're interested in the last video, I'll put that just below. Okay, what I'm about to show you, I'm not sure if this is a rabbit hole or a snake hole. So I'm going to approach with caution. I just cut the grass a couple hours ago. And along the house I had, it was mostly covered with leaves. So this hole was recently, a couple hours ago, covered with leaves. So you couldn't, it was not visible. But since I cut the grass, I just was checking the area and I happened to see it. Let's see if I can give you a zoom before I check out what's in it. That's the hole right there. Let's see if I can point to it. This right here is the hole that I'm pointing to. This is the hole right here. I'm going to gently, gently check on it and see what's in there. Make sure it's not babies in there. It looks like a rabbit hole, but I might, might be wrong. Be nice if it was a cache. Jump up under here. It's got to be a rabbit hole. I think it's a rabbit hole. Dang it. It dug up under the house, so I'm going to definitely have to seal this up. Definitely going to have to seal this up because see what you it dug a tunnel. They dug this hole and dug a tunnel up under the house. I can guarantee it's a rabbit hole. Yeah, it's definitely a rabbit hole. If I put dirt there... It will definitely, the, tomorrow when I return, it'll definitely be the same hole. They'll redig it. So this is what I do. Not that they won't dig another hole. Put rocks in there. And weigh it, weigh it down. Weigh it down. That's a lot of weight. That should make it quite hard for it to use it again. I 
I just have to remember it's there when I cut the grass again. See, the good thing about herping is, you're, especially on your property, when you herp, you're really checking out your property too versus herping on someone else's land or public land. Do herping and all that and look for reptiles and interesting things on your own property and you can discover things like I just discovered. I was in the middle of herping when I discovered that hole. This is the horn pasalis beetle. That's right, but it also has a nickname I'll go over later. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The nickname for this beetle is the best beetle. The best best is the, actually the root sound for kiss. When you pick this beetle up, it actually makes a kissing sound. That's a nice size. But it's actually communicating nice to size. other beetles. Where there's one best beetle, beetle right you will find plenty. They usually hang out in groups. So when you find one, if you really look around, you'll find plenty. You'll find these beetles in decaying wood. I've also found them under boxes. Are you gonna sit boxes on that I've laid down for gardening to Mr. prevent weeds to from growing. You know I you found plenty of best beetles. Hey, come here, come here, Tank. Because now it's trying to dig. It's trying to dig. So I think they dig. They live underground, I think. This is a horn pasalis beetle. It's a nice find. You can actually see the joints in this large beetle. You can find this beetle in decaying wood. And when there's one, there's plenty. So if you see one, if you really look around, you'll find others. These beetles like to hang out in groups. That is a pretty large, it's about the length of a, a uh, 50 cent piece. That is pretty big. trying to put my hand in there so you can get the that's a nice size beetle it's large So best is the root sound for kiss in many languages. So therefore gets the nickname best beetle. Also another interesting thing is the adults hang out with the larvae uh -oh. and the adults Thank you stepping on it. Excuse Come my here. bug. You're stepping on it, you baby. Cannot Come over see here. that bug. You're stepping on but it. But best beetles hang adult beetles adult hang out with the larvae. And the adult beetles actually take care of the larvae. Now, this is a common thing not seen in most beetles. The adults taking care of the young. But that's what the best beetle does. You can see the best beetle in colors of black and dark brown. You can also sometimes see them in hues of maroon or orange. Now the adults eat decaying wood and they actually pre-chew the decaying wood 
before feeding it to the larvae. Another interesting thing I know about this beetle is if there is an injured larvae, they actually, the adults will actually eat it. So they do have a form of cannibalism. The adult larvae will eat the defective larvae or the other larvae will eat it. If it is crippled or something wrong with the larvae, the larvae will eat, other larvae will eat it, or the adults will eat it. That's something I found very interesting about this beetle. Now, these beetles can fly, but they rarely do. They, most of the time, they choose not to fly, but they definitely can fly.